How you doing guys? It's your boy Nando. This is the Pound for Pound Boxing Show, proudly sponsored by Bravos in association of Warren Boxing Management. I'm delighted to be joined by Casey Kadimi. How you doing, bro? Yes, Nando. I'm well, thank you. Thank you for having me. No, it's always a pleasure to speak to you, bro. You know, um, we've been speaking to you for the last few years and uh, following your career. And um, yeah, now on to the next fight. And uh, how are you feeling about that? Um, I'm excited as usual. I'm always excited for a fight. Uh, as long as I'm busy, I'm very happy. So, um, yeah, we, you know, I've, I've last eight, last years, I mean, since last June till now, I've been very busy having non-stop getting scheduled for So I'm happy. Can't complain. World management's doing a hell of a job for me. They are. Um, you know what? I, I respect you as well um, because you're, you're very um, active compared to, you know, this day and age of boxing. You see people flying every six months, every eight to 12 months. And as well, and I will speak about that, you know, you just fought in January and unfortunately suffered a loss. Most people who suffer a loss, you don't see them for nearly a year. Straight away, three months later, you're back on it. Big opportunity for the Commonwealth title. Um, what keeps you motivated? For some people, um, you know, after a loss, you see fighters disappear for a bit to, you know, it's been a long camp, maybe to spend more time with family, maybe... You know, they take that that loss to heart, but you're back on it now. What is keeping you motivated? I mean, my dream and my goal. Like I, I always dreamed, my 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 main goal is to become world champion. And like I said, in this in this game, you either learn, you either win or you learn. And uh, my last from my last fight, that I would say, I personally would say that, yeah, I came up short in that fight, hands down. Uh, I didn't believe my other fight that I lost my foot when I took my first loss. I I didn't believe that was a uh, a loss that I would say, I would you know I would accept it. But this is a true loss that I did. Hands down, I fought a better man. The better man won. It was tough. It was strong. It was very experienced, and um, I think I learned a lot more from that fight um, than what I've done throughout my, all, all my career. So I'm just prepared to take that experience before I, <laughs> I tend to you know it, before it, tend, it fades away from my mind. I'm gonna put it to work and start working harder, and. Uh, get the, the bet out of myself and uh, hopefully, yeah, 26th 26, 26 of April, um, you know, make the fight more easy for me. Before I move on to the 26th of April, I wanted to ask you, um, obviously not taking nothing away from Jackson Chalk, obviously he, unbelievable performance, he got the job done, but what was it that went wrong for you if you could look back at that fight? Was it more the fact that you went down a weight, a fly weight, maybe you're more comfortable at super fly, did the knockdown maybe take confidence out of it? What 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 went wrong for you? Do you think? Oh, I would say that there was many many aspect that was um, you know that got me performed that way. I mean, I had a lot of responsibility. I was uh, you know I was um, sorting out the guys' purse myself. I was putting the show up myself. So I, was, I had a lot of responsibility. I was handling myself, and um, you know with the sanction and all that. And it, it was uh, it was a hell. You know, it was you know, I was going through a lot of stuff. But regardless of that. He 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 was a better, you know. He came in well prepared. He was very experienced. Um, he was just a level above me, and uh, everything I do, he knew exactly what I was gonna do. And he set up a trap, and he caught me with a shot. And um, um, and, and and also I just learned that you know after the, after the fight, we asked him how much he rehydrated. I just felt he was very strong, and I was like, you know, I find that he was he rehydrated himself by eight kilos. So it was it was crazy. Um, wow. I mean, I've never seen someone do that. I mean, I, I, I super flyweight. I rehydrate myself to around fifty six point five, but I was a flyweight, so I weighed in at the fight fifty four point seven. I was coming in because we have a skill, so you know we know how much we. I came in fifty four point seven, uh, fifty four point seven. Although you know I ate a lot, I you know rehydrate myself, everything I could. Um, but yeah, fifty four point seven. I was on a fight, and yeah, he just looked better and stronger, and. Um, I think it was just the main thing. He was very strong. So every punch he was landing, he was making a, 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 a you know, it was hurting me. So, well, was... let's let's put that behind us because you started a story to become Afghanistan's first world champion, and now you are on the road to finish your story. I spoke to Oli from uh, Warren Boxing Management yesterday, and we've come up with this thing of you. You're going to have to finish the story now to become Afghanistan's first world champion. And the road 
to finish that story starts on the 26th of April when you take on Ryan Farage for the Bacon Commonwealth Super Flyweight title live on the returning legendary channel Box Nation on their YouTube channel. First of all, how big is it for not just UK boxing, boxing in general, that Box Box Nation is back, The what I call the spine of British boxing? A hundred percent. You know, it, it was in a very. I was very excited when uh, the announcement was made. Box Nation. You know, I, used to, I was very young. Even before I didn't box, I used to watch Box Nation. Watch many great fights out there on the Box Nation. You know, I used to watch um, Ian Napper, who was from Hackney. You know, box on Box Nation, and he. You know, so I've seen some classical fights out there live. Uh, so you know, I've been able to have my first main event. Uh, on a box nation television as well, it's an amazing and um, again we've got a tough opponent. And just we're going to be prepared, hopefully, hundred percent, and get the job done. What do you know about Ryan Farage? Obviously, he's got a bass of experience. He's fought somebody that you are sparring with right now, Marcel Brethway. He fought Sonny Edwards. Um, he's fought Kareem Guethrie, who is a former world champion as well. What dangers does he bring to the ring apart from experience? Oh, a hundred percent. I think he fought. I thought. I, th I think the people that he lost to, he fought all former world champions: Son Edward, um, Ryan Burnett. Um, so you know, all these guys, they 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 went and end up going becoming a world champion. And um, I can I can I can see how how experienced Ryan Farrell is and how good he is. Um, you know, again, we have to go in there. Execute. We have a game plan. We execute a game plan, and um, I, I believe Ryan. Ryan is not the kind of person that's gonna, you know, come in there for just for the night. He's gonna bring in. You know, he wants the Con Wolf as well. We all want the Con Wolf and the other British to find, to to make the path back to the World Tower. And for me, the same thing. I gotta get this tower in order to get myself back up to the World Tower. Uh, get a shot for World Tower, and same as Ryan, we're both gonna bring the best out of ourselves and you know put a performance on. I asked you before the whole thing of, you know, if when boxers um, suffer a loss, you don't see them for many months um, after that. What does it mean to you that not only Warren Boxing Management have f f uh, found you another fight, not just any fight, it's not an easy fight, it's for a vacant, important belt, because this is a belt that is part of that traditional route to go to the world title. Oh, yeah. Maybe we go from English... To Commonwealth, to British, to EU, and so on. So the fact that he found you a fight and a big opportunity straight three months after that last fight, not only that headline in Liverpool of the nation, was it mean to you that Warren Boxing Management see you as one of the top faces of their, let's say, management team and promotion? Oh, 100%. Warren Management is a hell of a team, um, you know, They've from the start they've uh, they signed me up. They promised me, um, and they've delivered. Um, I'm very grateful, and by doing all this stuff, they're showing how loyal they are to me, and uh, how much love and respect they have for me. And uh, you know, every second they they every day they're phoning me, um, keeping me updated with everything. I, I don't think I can ask for a better management. World management is a hell of a team, and you can you can tell that by how many other great boxers are joining in the the stable, and. Um, you know, it, they deserve everything. Honestly, the the the, 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 the people that deserve the box nation to handle is is WPM, and I, I I'm truly happy, and I'm truly I believe they're gonna go very far. But hopefully, put bigger bigger shows out there. And again, the stables keep growing. It's not that it's you know this is just the beginning. There's a lot more we, yeah, you know, WPM visualize themselves as, and they have they have a great vision. And and I, I look at this same you know I look I look at their vision the same way they're looking as well. So I want all happiness, success for the team because that's what all, they've delivered their loyalty and, and, and everything to me. So I'm, I'm very grateful to be part of WBM. That's brilliant. And you know what? I can echo what you just said about the loyalty and what they delivered. They've done a lot for our channel as well and the opportunity. You know, I co-hosted the show when you last fought for the world title. Jermaine on this channel was on commentary and we can't thank them enough for that. So they've always delivered on their on their promises. We've always believed in them, and uh, they always believed in us. So shout out to Warren Boxing Management because 100%. 100%. unbelievable show. 100%.
wanted to ask you, recently Warren Boxing Management um, announced that they signed a new boxer from Afghanistan. They took a picture with you and Masood Abdullah. Tell us about this this fighter. So we got this, um, we're looking at him to be light heavyweight, or cruiserweight, uh, or super middleweight. He's, he's a young talent. Um, you know, I just, um, you know, I, I, he's not he's not the first of Afghan that's going to be joining. I mean, he's not the, the, the third one. There's another one, Rambo, who also was a flyweight. Um, professional fight, he's coming to the table as well. There's a few more coming in from ABA that we have our eyes on, and we're just looking for talent fighters. And we believe these guys, um, gonna bring you know great name to the Afghan Afghanistan sports and also for WBM to you know, we want we, we want WBM to be all around the globe. We want, you know, we want to put on show in the future in Afghanistan, we want to put on show in everywhere we can with everyone. And like I said, they've showed their loyalty with me and um. They have the same vision as me, and uh, I just want the best for WBM, to be honest. And uh, we're looking to have him, uh, you know, me and Masoud, because he, me and Masoud, we talk a lot. We're, we're good friends. I have a lot of respect for him. He definitely, uh, you know, uh, deserves to be a world champion. I think he works very hard and is very talented for what he's done in boxing for a short period of time. is crazy. He came in, in the amateur for two years and destroyed the amateur. He won the ABS. And so I've always supported and I've always showed love to my son, I always will. And I believe he's a great talent and uh, as long as the right opportunities are given to him, he'll overcome it. He's a very dedicated person, disciplined person. And uh, again, me and him are working projects into helping the, the, the next generation of Afghans come into the platform, giving him the, 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 the space they need, the platform they need, and the only platform they can get, we can give him through, is from the, through WBM. WBM right now, you know, they got the one of, one of the biggest platform of box nation is one of the biggest uh, in uk so starting off there uh, you know it's great it's great and uh, like i said there was many boxers before me and masood that was afghans and they never got along with each other and they, ne they never got anywhere because they couldn't get along with each other where me and masood we look into to help the afghan athletes and give them the opportunity to, to showcase their skill and, and, and you know and, and show their strength and show what they're made out of. Um, the only way we can do that is by by getting along with each other. And um, yeah, I believe we, we, we can do that. We have a great vision as well for the Afghan athlete. Like I said, there's some great amateurs right now. We've got an Afghan kid that is, uh, just went to to represent Britain in, in uh, Olympic qualifier. He came up short, but again, he's a very talented person. He's an ABA champion, senior. Uh, we've got you know some juniors, ABA, seven-time, eight-time national uh, uh, ABA champion as a junior Afghan kids. They've all, we all connected to them. We have got all their links. So hopefully when they're ready to turn pro, um, they all be signed up with WBM as we look to put them on a, on a you know a big stage and big platform, got bigger vision for them. So that's great. That's, <laughs> we that's just more talents, yeah. Just like Amir Khan's done, he he you know regardless of what people say, Amir Khan, he to where Asian fighters are right now fighting on all these big platforms is because of Amir Khan. Amir Khan literally opened that you know that 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 door that path to them. So oh, I'm always grateful for Amir Khan, you know so. If um, by any chance there's any female Afghan um, fighters out there that want to become maybe the first female Afghan um, world champion, and they they like I need the opportunity, can they? Can yeah. they? Of course, right now, like I said, we've got um, a female Afghan boxer um, fighting out of Germany in the Olympic qualifier. Uh, um, right now, we're very uh, uh, we're very con well connected with the Afghan Boxing Federation where they have all contact with every amateur fighter with uh, the, all the levels um and all you know globally and they're keeping us in contact so we have our eyes on everyone almost uh with an afghan uh, community afghan athlete boxes and um, like i said that's what we want to do we, we have our eye and if and she looks to obviously she was going to go for the olympic qualifier we see how well she does and if she want to turn up pro you know the the, the doors are always open for her um Brilliant. We're looking to sign. That's what we do. We're not here to just say, "Oh, it has to be." No, we female males, anything as long as the talents are there to be put onto the platform and they deserve it, we'll put it up there. That's brilliant, Casey. I've got to tell you, um, I've been to your call many. I can't even count how many times I've been to your call, and I've never had seen an entrance to a fight that gave me goosebumps before, like the one you did at your last fight with the support that you had was just unbelievable. And that's just your call. I can only imagine if you did it at the O2 or you did it, you know, at Wembley Arena or so on, 
So is Afghanistan and the fans going to take over Liverpool on the 26th of April? A hundred percent. We're already talking to coaches. To to you know, there's a lot of Afghans in Liverpool as well. So they're all attending. Brilliant. We've got Afghans attending from Birmingham. We're organizing a few coaches from here to travel. And again, like, like I said, uh, uh, right now, I think the biggest fight. Look, maybe that last fight went that way because for a reason. Maybe it wasn't filled up enough. So, uh, you know, hopefully the next world title shot we do get, we're gonna have. Uh, you know, we're still growing in fan base, and uh, you know, the next one might be in Copper Box Arena or somewhere. When we get the world title shot, hopefully when we, you know, pass on Ryan Farah, get the title, and then get find our way back to the world title. It could be a Copper Box Arena. You know, you know it, it's Wembley said We never know. I mean. We want to put a show on. I spoke to everyone where it's like five Afghan fighters are fighting on the card. We got Masood, me, and a few others are signed in. Put a massive show where we can gather maybe forty to 50,000 of Afghan. I mean, there is a lot of Afghan here. And even in Yoko, I had a lot of um, boxing federation to travel from Germany to come to that Yoko last fight. A few of them. So it was, you know, they showed great respect and loyalty by traveling from other countries to come here. And like I said, maybe the last fight wasn't big enough. We gotta make it much bigger, and uh, maybe he's just waiting for that. <laughs> so you know, like I said, you live and you learn, and I learned a few things. I've made a mistake a few things in my last camp. But we go back again against Ryan Farrak, and uh, it's time to put put a performance of my lifetime and get that combo off and make my route back to the world title shot and finish the story. That's it. <laughs> finish the story. Casey, you know me. I'm not one to stir things up, but I I spoke to your team. That I asked them, do you want me to mention any names? past not looking past ryan farage but you beating farage obviously you're going to have options after that so i just want to speak about three fights i just want your opinion on them and yeah. again not looking past your next opponent so off camera you told me you've been sparring marcel breathway we know that he's um going to fight the south african um ibo super flyweight champion and you know if he's successful Marcel Breathway versus Casey Kadimi for the IBO Super Flyweight title could happen. But if he's not successful, there's still a big fight because he's still the British champion. So British and Commonwealth Super Flyweight titles on the line. Yeah. Either one, would you welcome that fight? Of course, we always welcome a fight. I mean, there's nothing, uh, you know. So, so me and Marcel haven't sparred. We've organised sparring this week, Wednesday. So I'm travelling to Liverpool Wednesday to spar okay. him. Um, like I, I've, I've told him, there's nothing. Look, we are then they were fighters. We want to learn from each other, and if they, obviously if the big fight produces something, yeah, he's got his own mission to go for fight for the IBO World Title in South Africa. He's got a very tough opponent, and um, I wish him, you know, I wish him to go and get it. Uh, he's worked hard, like just like me, he's a dreamer, and um, I believe the moment he fights for the IBO World Title, I think he's gonna get stripped of the British title. Um, just like every title, as the moment you fight for any world title, you get stripped of every title. So um, I believe that there hasn't been announced, but me and Ryan Farag might fight for the British and Commonwealth. I'm mandatory. The reason I was able to fight for Commonwealth because I was so mandatory for it. Um, so, you know, um, that that given a chance, if Marcel win the IBA world title and I win against Ryan Farag, not looking past him, but, I, you know, um, I'll, go, I'll hopefully go and win it. Uh, both the t t um, if there's both titles, I go win it and and find the route back against. If if we can make a massive fight between me and Marcel, well, yes, we'll make that happen. Hundred percent, I believe. Uh, you know, he, he the whole he's the whole point for him is to go, you know, get the world title and get his biggest purse, and, and, and then they comes to the money. And I think us lot, me and him having a fight in one of the you know one of the arena we have in Birmingham or London Copper Box Arena, you know, and we got a lot of people. We can you know he's gonna have enough money to be offered to him as a world champion for him to defend the style against me. Um, if not, then maybe in Saudi. You never know because, um, you know, there's a lot of things that can happen. But, look, um, right now my focus is on Ryan Farag. And, um, yeah, <laughs> you gotta go, you got to go get sort of the business out with him. Of course. And I have to mention another name because we discussed this before your last fight. It was a fight that really excited you and excited me. It excited Bobby Warren. He was in the room when I interviewed you as well. If for any chance um, Marcel va vacates the British and it can't be against the Barrage and that's vacant, what about Casey Kadimi versus Jay Harris? He comes that he comes up and you defend your Commonwealth, but the British, vacant British is on the line. How big is that fight for a box nation fight? 
But that would be massive. I mean, Jay Harris, a hell of a talent. I was watching his last uh, fight against, uh, I think, Conor Butler was. Oh, what talent he is. And, you know, he showed his experience. He showed his level. And like I said, um, you know, Jay Harris is a great talent. And I would love to share the ring with him. And I think uh, both of us would make a hell of a fight. We both got very... I got different dimensional style and so is he and you know he's got come forward dimensional style I've got back you know so it'd be great like he fought Conor Butler but I'm a, I'm a different version of Conor Butler um, I don't fight like how he fought I think um, he should have moved a lot but I think that fight will make that fight happen if, of course if the British vet is vacant and he comes up to the super flyweight and we can fight a super flyweight then yes we can make that happen but I believe from his last interview as well he said that um, he's looking for another world title shot if he can find it good, if not, then I'm ready to, you know, give him a chance. If the British title is vacant, we can fight a super flyweight for the British title. That's not a problem. I'll make that happen. I think it will be a great show. He's a great talent, and uh, I would love to share the ring with him. Brilliant. There's one more fight I need to mention. Um, you know, there's always controversial um, things said about this person because, you know, uh, promoters say that he prices himself out. But now that Box Nation is there, there's a big platform. And he has the chance to showcase. And you know what? He might get the money that he's asking for. What about Prince Patel versus Casey Kadimi for the IBO Bantamweight world title? Would you be willing to go to Bantamweight to fight for that world title? Yeah, yeah. Against Prince Patel, I'll go even heavyweight if I, if I have to. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll, I'll fight for Prince Patel at Bantamweight. Like, again, he's a, he's a good kid. He's a, he's a dreamer. He's done what he has. He's become a world champion in his own way. And, you know... He's got a great mindset, you know. You know, he's his own manager, so which what he's done is great. Like I would love that fight to happen, but right now again, um, Ryan Frag is at the, the the main focus at uh, can't overlook him. But yeah, again, if that that even if after Ryan Frag um if that that fight puts himself and he accepts it, I'll be more than happy to to make that as soon as possible. You know, um. But um, let's see. He's got the high demands. And um, from what I know, I think Chris Borg is trying to get a fight in Saudi. Um, but let's see. I, I think he just... I, I watched his recent interview. He mentioned him. So I don't know if that's going to happen or if they have some sort of contract. But um, yeah, I think... Uh, but I would love that fight. Prince Patel, Jay Harris, um, Master Burfway. These, these are three great names. Three top, you know, the top of the game, and that's why I want to be sharing my ring, the ring with. So I'll be, I'll be very happy. Um, I got many respect for them in their own way, you know. I have my respect for them, um, for where they are, for how far they've come, but for sharing the ring is, is, is you know, I want to showcase my skill, how, how good I am, in order for me to test myself how good I am. I will share the ring with them any day. You mentioned Chris Bork men uh, mentioned uh, Prince Patel. Uh, that was actually the interview with myself, and he welcomes that fight with Prince Patel. So if he if he wins the British title next against Ashley Lane, he'll call out Prince Patel bantamweight. But you know anything can happen. Warren Boxing Management, Definitely. you know they they they're the mafia of boxing. They could do it. They could get you this this title fight. Oh. 100%. WVM is on the ball. They can make anything happen as uh, I demand. And, and that's, what I, that's why I love them. They, they're great. And, um, you know, the opportunity they've given me. Like I said, I've had seven, eight fight back-to-back -back all title fights. And it, it, it's all it, it's all because of WBM giving me the opportunity to do it. And um, I'm going for an eighth, eighth uh, title fight in a row. And, you know, I believe all that other title fights, um, you know, bring me up to this level to get this title against Ryan Farag and push myself back up to the world title shot. And I, I, I believe we're going to get, that's what we're looking at me and Bob were speaking the other day. We're looking to get world title shot halfway this year or end of this year, 100% is going to happen. Brilliant. And again, like me and Oli said, you finished the story. <laughs> Thanks, my man. I appreciate that. You guys support and, you know, it means a lot. 100%. Casey, before I let you go, we spoke about it already. You're taking on Ryan Farage, 26th of April in Liverpool, vacant Commonwealth super flyweight title. Afghanistan is going to take over Liverpool. Coaches, trains, uh, planes, they're all coming down. Yeah, Live it. on Box Nation. What is going to happen? You just have to tune in. It's going to be a good fight. We've got a great uh, thing. And we're going to win. We're going to lift that Commonwealth title build up. And if the British on the line, we'll be lift up both of the title. But I'm very confident for this fight. Um, yeah. 
brilliant. Before I let you go, do you have a message for all the fans that always support you on at every fight? I want I want to thank everyone that bought tickets in my last fight and um, that are going to buy tickets on my next fight. Um, you you support me in the world and um, you know and everyone that's been around through the media's and every, like you guys. Um, you know, also my shout out to my last sponsors, SPG and the Hearing World Eight. Um, these guys helped me out, you know, to get that fight. And uh, my management, WBM, they've done a hell of a job behind the scene and everywhere, you know. Um, so a lot of respect and love to them. Brilliant. Casey, I wish you all the best of luck with 26th of April. We'll see you there and uh, and the new. And the new. Thank you, Nando. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Take care, uh, bro. Have a good